So what I want you to do in unison, I'm going to ask you a damn question. <laughs> I just want y'all to sing all together, okay? So it's 15% protein, okay? Ready, choir? One, two, three. 50%? Protein. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Everybody gets to stay in my choir. And so the next one is 15% raw fat. One, two, three. Raw fat. All right, I'll take that 15. I heard you. I heard you. Put you in there. It's okay, a little out of the key, but you did good. And then 70% green leafy carbohydrates, 70%. What's a green leafy carbohydrate? <laughs> what is that? Kale. Did she make a mistake, kale? Who said that? Very good. That's what I'm talking about, the clothing dude. Yeah, to protect yourself. That's right. Every, so let me just say kale, what else? Kalaloo. Kalaloo, what else? Spinach, what else? Asparagus, what else? Broccoli, what else? Cabbage. Cabbage, I like it. What else? Watercress, celery. Watercress, celery, celery. what else? Uh, okay, well, I'll take that tomatoes. Yeah, because the little one said it. <laughs> Give him energy. Okay, so you named a lot of foods that I have not been able to find here in the UK since I've been here, because everybody likes to eat carbohydrates here. But my question to you was, what do I mean by a green leafy carbohydrate? The answer to the question is, every vegetable has an element of carb in it, okay? So spinach has a little element of carb. So you're not carb loading if you eat spinach. So I don't want to saying, you told me that spinach and all this green stuff had carbs in it and I can't, that's not what I'm saying, okay? So out of the 70% green leaf carbohydrates, only maybe like, no more than 10% of that can be carbohydrates. Starchy carbs. Starchy carbs. Everybody say, starchy carbs. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Get with it. <laughs> I know I'm dramatic. <laughs> can you imagine being my mom and my dad? They're like, take your ass upstairs. Go to bed at 4 o'clock p.m. Go. Starchy carbs. Starchy carbs are your what? Bananas. Because a lot of you cook with banana, right? It's your rices. And if you're going to eat rice, what's the best rice to eat? Oatmeal. Wild rice. Wow, rice. Wild rice. The black stuff. It's chewy. The white stuff ain't chewy. It's kind of hard. Does anybody know the difference? Has anybody had black rice and white rice and put them side by side by any chance and just felt them? One of them is like, it has more of a gummy, chewy, chewer taste, right? The other one is a little bit harder. If you leave white rice out, it actually is like a brick if you don't like somebody. <laughs> you pick up the rice. Don't let anybody see you and sell it across the room. You will knock them out with the white rice. Okay? I'm not, in, I'm not giving y'all no idea. So if somebody say, I got injured by some white rice, I did not suggest it. So I'm giving you just a little bit of what it takes. Do you understand now you're all detectives? You have all passed. You can put a badge on. Okay, so does a badge go on the right side or the left side? Does anybody know? Do we got, I got any officers or anything here? You probably didn't tell me anyway. Okay, so for my sake, okay, touch by your heart. Where's your heart at? Oh my God, where's your heart? I hope y'all touch, please touch the left side. Or I'm gonna have to demote you even before I give you your badge. Touch your heart. 
Okay, so now you are all officers of the crime unit, okay? It's up to you to police what you put in your mouth. It's up to you. You're not gonna put yourself in jail, I'm sure, but your organs will put you in jail. Your heart will definitely put you in jail. Your pancreas will put you in jail. Your liver will put you in jail. The body says, yeah, you commit crimes, you can act like you all good and vegan, but I'm about to take your hair and I'm gonna do a whole lot of other stuff to you. So I need you to be powerful and understand that what you put in your mouth makes a difference in every aspect of your life. If you're eating junk, it's hard to think good thoughts. It's hard to create. You, and we probably have some really creative people. Just think if you cleaned your diet up a little bit, you'd be so much more creative. You're a powerful people. I hope I didn't bore the hell out of you. Thank you so much. See, this is called plantation. They master told me I gotta get back up here. Any questions? Okay, she said, you said fruit sugar is good, but it's too sweet. What happens when you're having something that is too sweet and it's of a good natural source? You have to add water, you have to dilute it. How many of us juice in here? We got some juicers. When you juice, do you put at least a third of that to be water? A third of that, what you're drinking is water. Is that true? What happens when that happens? You let the robber in. Because now you made it concentrate again. You understand? You have to add the water in. Any other questions? Yes. You can do that. You can, don't do couscous every day, but you can do it. Yes. Uh, you know, with uh, nuts, uh, roasted nuts. On, uh, roasted nuts. Yeah. Okay. Good question. My students just—they just graduated, and guess what? You got your first client. She said roasted nuts. You ready? So, are you guys gonna give her answer? Of yes, you can eat the roasted nuts. Oh no, you can't eat the roasted nuts. Okay, you gonna do this? Can we get a definitive answer here, choir? Come on, I can't get this and this. She's confused. Okay, it's roasted. It's roasted. Roasted means it's not raw. Okay. Did you get your answer? You said not really. Did she say not? Really? All right. Say it again. Roasted nuts. You asked me if it was good. Are we talking about the subject of raw fat? Is that the subject we're talking about? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is emotional. I'm glad you did that. When you give somebody an answer, you see my fat? I love you. You my sister. We sisters, okay? When you give someone an answer, and they deep down on the inside know the answer, they deep down on the inside, they know that it's, it's like, they know the answer, it's emotional. And a lot of us approach our foods emotionally. So a lot of us don't have really issues with, you know, getting rid of the food. It's the emotion that is connected to it. And so what I would do is I would appeal to her emotions. Please, if you take those roasted nuts, it's gonna roast your ass. <laughs> it's a robber. You gotta let him in. He's supposed to love you, honey. Please don't do it. Please. Did that work? <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Because because of constraints of time, you, you've been you've had to be quite black and white. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, so you've got yes yes foods and no no foods. But what would you consider yes no foods? Yes no. Ain't that about nothing? <laughs> what do you consider yes no foods? <laughs> Give me some examples. Well, for example, uh, well foods that that um, probably yeah. that are probably okay, but only in moderation. Say, because I, I like bananas with my breakfast. But I, I understand that you're saying bananas probably no, no. Or, or Did I say that? No. Um, it's yeah. okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't don't feel intimidated. It's all right. No, no. Bananas. Yeah. 
The Dr. Stevens say, no bananas. I said, if you are going to break your fast, you should probably eat what? Fruit. So bananas are okay. If you're a diabetic, however, and you choose bananas, they're high in sugar. Okay? So you have to know the body that you're in and know if that's good for your body. Okay? But bananas are fine. That's, that's a yes, yes. Is that a good answer? That's a yes, yes. That's not a gray area. I want to, what's the, come on, give me an idea of gray. That one's a good one. Give me something else. Right. Um, I, my friend is chickpeas. Chickpeas. Or po pulses, generally. Pulses. Okay, so. Lentils, legumes, beans. Okay, beans. Is that a yes, yes, or a no, no? That's a yes, yes, right? Now, how do we arrive at that answer, mathematicians? I said 15%, 15%, and I said 70%, and I said 10% of that can be? That's exactly where that would fit. Do the math, do the math. Okay, yes. Oh, Clinzy, I did. I he forget. You gotta help me, my brother. Appreciate that. Cleansing with the seasons. You understand what you eat in the winter, you're not gonna eat it in the spring. You understand you're out and you're moving. You just don't eat the same foods. So when the winter is coming to a close, or for some of us who practice holidays, and you eat all this stuff you have no business eating, you need to be cleansing the next day. You understand that? And that means you empty in the trash. You've ingested all this garbage and now the garbage has to be taken out. But some of us just like to hold the garbage. No, we don't need to take it out. We'll take it until the spring. We don't need to cleanse in the spring, we'll just take it to the summer. And you're just carrying garbage around. So that's why I tell you to clean your systems every season. And if you're doing something you know you have no business doing, I know it's hard being around your family. When you're trying to be righteous in your, in your diets, when you're around your family, they are the most heinous people sometimes to be around. And they love you. They're like, girl, I know you want some of this pumpkin pie. And it's like, no, it's nice, but no thank you. Get, get, look at this, stick it in your face. And if they're a really good family, they'll take the pie and put it to your lips. Okay? If you're in that environment, you know when you're going in, they're gonna make me do something I know I shouldn't be doing. What do you do the next day? Clean, cleanse. Okay? I don't know if you mentioned already, what's your take on me? What's my take on me? You want the, you want the, he said there's a black, a white, and then there's a gray area. Which one you want me to say? Let me do the black and white thing? Don't eat me. <laughs> Okay, okay, I know you want another answer, right? <laughs> want another answer? There's who? Which tribes in the UK? <laughs> there goes your answer. Meats were only, you coaching them? You look, his daddy's saying it, just tell her this, tell her that. Yeah, she thinks she got it, but tell her this now. Okay, so look. The, the son's really not asking me the question. He's smiling like, Dad, I already know the answer. And he's like, don't tell her this and that. <laughs> That's why he's bending over, you know. That, that sailed and sickle, okay? <laughs> Any other questions? Yes. With the proteins, you're only supposed to, you're not supposed to eat milk to certain temperatures, so would you also recommend not eating the proteins? With the proteins? You're only supposed to eat them at a certain temperature. Well, if you eat proteins to a certain What are we talking about? Look, cut, cut to the chase, cut to the chase. Stop, stop playing. You know, you, you take me through the woods, I just want to go, I want a straight street. What protein are we talking about? Well, I was going to mention meat, but... <laughs> <laughs> you see how that be set me up? I know I set up when I feel one. You set me up. You see, y'all double team me. This your cousin back here? Tell the truth. Yeah, I know, I, I can feel it. I can feel it. All right, this is a double team. So you got to heat up this meat. And what's your question? He's like this, I don't even eat meat. 
talk. That's how he did me the last time. Okay, I'm going to let you talk. Okay, say if, for those who do eat meat then, what would you suggest? Cooking cook, cook it a certain way because after a certain temperature, you can make the protein. Okay, so hold on a second. You want the black, the white, Oh, you want the gray area? Don't eat me. <laughs> you want the gray area? Yeah. Because we, we in the gray area. This is the gray area. Okay, this is gray, okay? I'm, I'm not going to do the black and white thing. Stay gray. If you're going to eat meat, you should bake it. If you are going to eat meat, you should bake it. Final answer. I'm going to go black and white on you. Anything else? Get me while I'm in the gray. <laughs> Okay, you, uh, time's up. I already answered your question. Yes. What about fish? Does it have eyes? Does it have eyes? If it has eyes, what is it? Me. <laughs> okay, hold I, I, Don't worry about it. It's okay. I can break it down. Okay, so you have cows. You have goats. What else do you have? Sheep. You have lambs. You have chicken. I don't know why I didn't think of chicken. You got fish. Okay, so some of them are in the water. And you got some of them that are on land. But guess what? If they have eyes, okay, it is considered meat. I know, it ain't that something? He looked at me like, damn. <laughs> so you answered your question from there, right? Or no, do you still have a question? You, we relate it. It's okay. This is a family affair. You all right? You said she's dogging my fish. I ain't got time for her. Okay, yes. Is there... Okay, so substitute salt. My American ears, you could be saying the right thing and it just gets jumbled once it gets to the ear. So please excuse me. What is a substitute salt? Kombu. Right? You know what that is? No, it's a seaweed. No, it's a seaweed. No. Okay, be careful, but it's a seaweed. Celery. Celery. Who said celery? I should have said it first, huh? I did it, I did it in my veins the other day. After you suggested it, I didn't keep it. Yep, celery. Okay. Okay, so if you really, really, how many of us crave salt? They like salt. You like salt in your foods. Can I get this? You know, just go ahead and shake your head. It means you're an angry person. <laughs> how many of us crave sugar? Go ahead. It's like, I ain't doing nothing. You're just going to keep the head like this. None of your business. If you crave sugar, it's the inability to receive love or to get it. Everything is connected to something. How many of us like hot sauce? Habanera. I like it. Anybody with me? Nobody's raving with me? Okay. We like to tear shit up. I know. We just, I mean, we take things to the extreme when you do the hot stuff. Okay? So, okay. We can go back to the question and answers. Let's keep it basic. Okay. I'm going to go right behind you so I can try to get somebody new. Yes? Uh oh. What did she say? Cleansing. Cleansing. Yeah. So, uh, what, what, what do you, how do you cleanse? How do I cleanse? Uh, yes. Well, um, Dr. Africa has a whole line of products, and I manufacture every single one of them. He gives me all the ingredients. I source them from all over the world. I have to make sure that they have their papers and that they're organic, and I put no fillers in it. Everything that I manufacture, I take. And it's really cool because sometimes it's good because I do it in the powders, you know what I'm saying? So I'll mix them. They work. They work. So if I'm doing a cellular cleanse, I actually have something for the cells. But what I like to do since I'm the one that manufactures, don't tell nobody, okay? It's a secret. Y'all got my secret? Promise? Pinky promise? Okay. So when I have to clean my machine after every, um, every mixture, right? So I don't want to throw away the extra stuff. So I take it and I put it in the same bag. Okay? So when I get that same bag, I shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, and I take it till it's gone. And I feel amazing. And certain times, if it's, if I take too much, you can't really control what's in that bag. So sometimes I might get a high concentration of something that I don't really know what it is, and I, I, I'm just, you know, I'm cleansing. What is cleansing? What, what, what makes you cleanse? It'll either come through your nose, it'll come through your behind, You'll urinate a lot. You understand? It'll come. 
through, you understand? Through the cleansing process. But that's how I do it. I also see what I eat as a, um, like a spiritual right. And I tell myself, I, you know what? I'm gonna love me more today. And certain days, I don't love myself as much as I should because I'm so busy. And I'll eat something that might not be horrible, but I know it's not what I should be eating. And so I just, I take two hour baths in the morning and I meditate and I ask the ancestors and my creator, just help me to be good to myself. And being good to myself, I say, what do you think I need? What do I need for today? And I just try to follow my own spirit. So that's how I do my cleansing. But I do something on a daily basis, but I'm very busy. A lot of traveling. Dr. Africa got me on the plantation. Y'all know what that's like, don't you? <laughs> got me on the plantation. Hopefully it answered your question. Okay, so I'm going to get you and you. On the, on the cleanse side, um, is fasting cleansing as well? Good question. How many fasters do I have in here? How, many, how fast do you do it? You do it real fast? Do it real slow. Five days? Nine days? How many of it? Do I got some slow fasters? One day. One day? You're a slow faster? Okay. You fast it, but it's slow. You do we want to? It takes three days for the body to get rid of all the food that you have in it. And uh, unless you've been eating meat. Unless you're a meat eater. It takes longer. So a technical fast happens on a third day of no food. Now, some of us say, I'm fasting, but I'm drinking juice. Is that juice still a food? Does it still have to go through the digestive process? It does, right? So technically, now, this is black and white. This is not the gray. Black and white, you're not fasting. You're not fasting. You are not fasting if you're drinking water. Oh my gosh. I need to hide up under this table, you I don't even, I don't know where I'm at. I'm far away from home. If you're drinking, if, okay, um, I, I know how to say it. If you're eating water, you're not fasting. Does it help? You just ate some water. The water has to go through the what? Digestive process. Which, by technicalities, being black and white, not great. Black and white. You're not fasting. I know. Y'all getting quiet. Like, y'all want me to leave now? <laughs> Is my time up? Because y'all like, no, the hell you didn't. So now, how many fasters do I have in the house now that you have this information? <laughs> how many slowers do I have? Got a couple slowers? So if you only did it before, up to three days, have you fast? Up to three days, have you fast? Okay, you bob your head. That's what I'm talking. I've been trying to get people to bob their head, but the answer is <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. Because at the third day is when the fast begins, unless you are a meat eater. Oh, then, you know, if you fried your meat, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you, you understand? No, I'm talking to the trifecta right here, one, two, three. The tribal, tri you, you as well, you're part, of, you're part of the trifecta. So if you fry, if you fried your meat, if you, like, put it on the grill, it's going to be in there for a while. You're going to have some funky farts. Okay? So that, three days. The first day, the second day, the third day, there is still food in your intestines, in your stomach. There's still food there. That has to completely leave before the fast begins. Okay, so I had, what's your question now? Oh, ah, uh, oh, oh. pink Himalayan salt and sea salt. Good question! Where's my bag? Who, who passed the course? How many people? Oh, anybody passed the course? Come on, my bag. Just everybody got. Oh, y'all took your badge off that quick? Y'all quit that quick? You, you just got your badge, and you said he ain't wearing it. You know what this mean, right? Y'all know what it mean? I got some all-timers in the house. I told you that you guys became officers of your own body, and you have a basis of information. He said pink Himalayan salt. He said pink. Everybody say pink. Does the color change the fact that it's sodium chloride. You know what? 
I think I want to keep you on my, what do you call it? You have a, the police department. I think I want to keep you on my department. Very good. It is still salt. Can you believe it? Pink Himalayan salt. It's still sodium chloride. It's still sodium chloride. <coughs> sodium and chloride. What is chloride? Bleach. What about who? Oh, okay, okay. I like this. I like this. I like the challenge. Okay, so, okay, the, the, my badgers. She said, it has minerals inside that sodium chloride. And what do you say? Go to jail. <laughs> I'm not even going to read you your rights. I don't, everything has minerals in it. Everything has minerals. Everything has minerals. Sodium chloride is what I want you to stay focused on. It's bleach. It's bleach in here. So if there's bleach in there, it's gonna bleach whatever it touches. So, you're a beautiful black woman, but I wonder what color your organs are. Cause they're bleached. They get bleached. It, it literally, and no, I'm not, and I know I've been joking. So it's hard to take me serious at the end. When you eat bleach, it'll actually take the color and the pigment out of whatever it touches. Have you ever seen someone that has, they're a beautiful black color, brown, yellow, whatever, and you start to see patches on their skin? What happened, my detectives? Sugar and salt took the minerals out of their skin because it said, hey, 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 there's a crime here. Somebody's trying to pour bleach on us. We need to protect ourselves. You like my opinion being a deputy? I think I like this. I need a <laughs> career change. I don't care if it has minerals in it. Just remember, it's sodium chloride. I know, she like this. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Yes, in the back. I'm so glad to get the back. Yes. You spoke on um, fasting. Fasting. Yeah, fasting. So what's your process of fasting? Do you fast or how do you fast? Because you said if you have water in the body, that's not fasting. Because do you grow your fast? Because my whole understanding of it is that when you do fast, you're trying to give your digestive system um, a break from trying to break down these harsh foods and you're trying to get the minerals from it. So, do you fast or don't you fast? I do it real fast. Real fast? Yes. No water, no, no nothing. Yeah, and I, and I don't stay on it for a long time. When I say real fast, I mean like, if I'm gonna do it, a lot of times when I'm on tour, people put food in my face that I don't like, and I won't eat it. Because I have to be up, I have to, my mind has to work, and if I have something that I know doesn't agree with me, then I'm gonna be talking all kind of bullshit up here. And it's gonna be on YouTube, y'all like, Dr. Stevenson was talking bullshit, the door. and it's gonna be on YouTube forever. So, yes I fast, when I fast, I'm normally at home, and I don't want to do anything. I don't want to have to fast and work like I work. You understand? I have to be in a, when you're fasting, you should really be consecrated with yourself, not having to do a lot of running around. You don't want to exert a lot of energy, okay? Now you said that, you said, drinking water. Look, he took offense to that. You said, you should have put your finger in my face. <laughs> I want you to just think, that you don't drink water, you eat it. You're giving your body a break, yes, that's true. So how are you giving it a break if you drink the water? And the water gotta go to the stomach. And the stomach go to the duodenum, that's the only place that digestion takes place. And then it goes through the cilia-like hairs to get into the bloodstream. And then what doesn't get used actually goes into the intestines. And then once it gets into the intestines, it goes out through the back end. Okay, come on back. Look, he'll be boxing me. Yeah. Woo, he got me on the roast. What you got to say? The whole idea of fasting and my idea. Your idea. Yeah, my idea. Yeah. Oh, we fight my like ideas like, now. Just like you have your idea, which I think is quite interesting. And Dr. Africans, don't blame it on me. Yeah, Dr. Africa. <laughs> but um, is that when you drink water, you're giving your body a rest. It might be still breaking your digestive system, but not as harsh because when you eat your, your carbohydrates, your meats, 
it takes a lot of energy to break down. So when you yeah. use the less energy, the minerals can travel, travel through your body easier. So that's the whole process. Okay, so that's good. And I'm not going to knock you for that, my brother. I'm going to be the judge, and you're going to be the defendant. And so I'm not going to put you in jail. Okay? And I'm, I'm not even going to give you probation. I'm going to let you go. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you this before you leave out of my courtroom. You have stated a fact. And yes, it is true. But it's not in the same conversation as fasting. So when you want to give your body a break, that's a good way to do it, to drink, to drink the water. It's just not classified as a fast. And that's the only difference between what you and I are saying. You're not saying anything bad. You haven't harmed anybody. You didn't kill anybody. You're a good citizen, okay? <laughs> but just, just understand the difference is when you're, when you're talking fast and you're talking to a real faster, real fasters they don't eat, okay? Okay, you can you can leave my court.